welcome back to my channel. Just kidding. Really excited for this video today because I've been wanting to do it for such a long time. Um, so I'll tell you what we're doing. You guys, Cheetos Flame and Hot Asteroids are back. Um, if you grew up in the early 2000s, then you probably enjoyed those as a snack and those like little bottle can thingies that they used to come in and they were freaking bomb um and then they went away and then like everybody was like ah, ah. now with social media because like everybody was remembering like oh you remember those snacks from when we were younger so i think it got everybody like riled up again and like oh my gosh i haven't had those snacks in forever they taste different than like the regular hot cheeto puffs to me back then um i feel like they just tasted better for some reason so during the super bowl around like the super bowl doritos came out with flaming hot doritos and chester cheeto was like no bitch and chester cheeto was like i'm bringing back asteroids i'm bringing back asteroids hopefully you can find them in your area i know they're not available in all areas and then i know in the places that they are available they're running out like crazy um so yeah i've been wanting to make this video for a while but I couldn't because I couldn't find them. I'm not joking. I probably went to maybe like 15 gas stations, um, like different Walgreens, um, just like different stores looking for these damn things. I even had like my boyfriend looking. I had like my mom looking and like out of town and stuff. Um, so yeah, I've been like looking for them like crazy. I got sick maybe like a week ago. And I was just like, oh, I feel awful. And, and you know, I hadn't found the Cheetos yet. Um, so I was like, it's fine. I don't want to do my makeup right now anyway. And my skin was like being really crazy. Like it was really dry, like around this area. So if like this area maybe like is breaking out, that's why. And then like my eyelids were drying out like crazy. Like it was really, really crazy. And I think it's just like the weather. My skin really is affected by the weather because it's been like just like changing drastically like one day it's like in the 70s and really really warm and then like the next day it's like in the 40s and really ugly and windy outside so i think that's just what's messing with my face and my skin it's just like ah. so i needed to take a break from makeup anyway because yeah so um we were we went to go do other stuff and then on my way home we were looking for the Cheetos and like other gas stations um, like in town and then when I was driving home we were like let's just stop at this last gas station on the way home. It's the last gas station um, before you get to my house. So we stopped there and I was like I'm gonna wait in the car because I honestly didn't think they were gonna have them. So I'm sitting there in the car and then I just see like waving at me like they have them here they have them here and I was like oh my god and I couldn't get out of the car because it was locked and I didn't want to like set the alarm off and I was like come here come here buy them all buy them all <laughs> so like we literally bought the whole store's worth we bought about like 20 bags um I know it was like 30 something dollars worth of asteroids that we got so yeah I was I was hype about them and I was like I can't find them anywhere we need to just buy them all and it's crazy because it's like the closest gas station to my house like why didn't we check there before but it is what it is so when I got them I was still sick and I didn't want to film like all stuffy and my I was just really congested and I didn't really have a cough it was I kind of had a cough but it kind of didn't it wasn't like a nasty like phlegmy sounding cough or anything um, but like my voice just sounded really congested and I still feel like it kind of sort of does but not as much as it did like a few days ago so I'm finally getting back to myself and I was like I want to film this video anyway getting to the whole point of like what this video is going to be about so basically I'm just doing like a really cute tutorial like inspired by the hot cheeto asteroids that's why I wanted I mean I wanted them to eat them but I also wanted them to because I was like these are like I've had this idea in my head for a long time to do like a hot Cheetos look and I know other people have done it like inspired by like the hot Cheeto bag or whatever when the asteroids came back out or when I heard they were coming back out I was like I want to do a hot Cheetos asteroid 
inspired look so this is what I came up with you guys I think it looks bomb like I feel really cute right now like I'm just looking at myself in the mirror I've honestly for a long time been staying away from oranges and yellows just because I was butchering them so much and I've been getting just more into color lately blue has been like one of my favorite eyeshadow colors um, lately but I've had this idea in my head for so long like I even had like my cute little top picked out I was like this is what I'm gonna wear when I do my look because it's like cheetah was looking <laughs> I probably put time stamps in the beginning of the video so you could um, just like skip if you want to if you don't want to hear me talk because I can talk forever um, but so you can skip to like the tutorial how I got this look so I used the BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil and the BH Cosmetics Daisy Marquez palette um, super super cute for the yellow I did use a ColourPop Super Shock Shadows is that what they're called um, for the yellow and then for the glitter I used um, a glitter from Be Flawless Cosmetics which I'm going to be doing a haul of kind of soon um, of like their cosmetics and their skincare so I'm really excited about that if you haven't heard of them then keep an eye out for my video because I absolutely love their products but yeah that's the glitter that I used today just um, a heads up I'll probably like maybe list what I'm using um, in the tutorial but just to let you know firsthand that's what I used today and then um, yeah I just show you guys how to do the eyes I don't really go into my face I'm super excited because I feel like I just look so cute and hopefully you like it too like I think it's very like like cute and like fierce and out there but at the same time it's also kind of safe like a lot of people like using oranges and yellows and stuff because it's kind of easy like it's not like out there like using like blue and like green and purple and like more like crazy colors so I did actually also want to do like a quick review of the asteroids um, because why not <laughs> so these were some of my like favorite favorite snacks when I was younger um, why they took them out I have no idea I guess they replace them with like the bigger like Cheeto Puffs, Hot Cheeto Puffs. Um, and I love Hot Cheeto Puffs also, but I don't know, like they just didn't taste the same to me. So when they said they were going to come back out, I was like, yes. And I think a lot of people experience that because like why would we be so excited for a much smaller bag, much smaller product? Like, so I feel like a lot of people also agree that they taste it different if you agree let your girl know like did they taste different to you from like hot cheeto puffs that we have now or do you think they taste the same when they came out i was like oh my gosh i'm so excited because i hope they taste like they did back then and to be really honest they kind of do taste like hot cheeto puffs now um did my taste buds change i don't know that's why i'm asking you guys like do you think the che the asteroids back then in the early 2000s do you think they tasted like hot cheeto puffs now um so yeah and then also like if you've tried the new ones do you think they taste like our hot cheeto puffs that we can like buy at the store regularly i think they kind of taste like the hot cheeto puffs we can buy regularly now i don't know my brother thinks they taste like they did back then um but I don't, I don't know you guys like I honestly don't know I feel like they taste different from what I remember them tasting like they were just better back then if that makes any sense they are smaller than I remember that's Whittle I remember them being like like maybe like that big is that a good so like measurement but yeah I do remember them being um bigger I don't remember like what the ounces were of those cans because I was like nine like who cares <laughs> these are one and a quarter ounce well, $1.19 for an ounce and a quarter it's kind of small it's kind of like the size of like corn nut bags 
when my boyfriend first saw them, like when he explained to me, he was like, this is the size that they are. He like made it sound like super, super small. And I was just like, oh my gosh, this is going to be such a ripoff. But I actually like, I guess because they're smaller, you could, because I was thinking like normal size of them that they used to be. So I guess like since they're smaller, you can fit more in here, but I'm not sure if it's like the same, like, you know, I couldn't honestly tell you like if it's the same quant quantity um, that we used to get when we were little because I wouldn't pay attention to shit like that when I was little. So yeah, but I think it's a decent size. Um, it's kind of a bad price, I guess, for like how small it is. I feel like it should maybe be like... 75 cents because it's small but i mean i know they're in like really high demand so they're gonna jack up the price of them i can finish a bag in like 10 minutes so i am kind of like satisfied with like a bag but like yesterday i think i had like two bags so i don't know if this is anything you guys care about i'm just i'm talking and it's like i'm talking about snacks and how long it takes me to finish cheetos so i don't know if this is interesting or entertaining to you guys at all but i'm just talking but i know they are a bitch to find if you can find them i kind of don't want you to be like get your hopes up but at the same time it's like even if someone told me like oh they taste like hot cheeto puffs i'd still be like bitch i want to go find out for myself because these were a super big snack when we were kids um if you're like around my age um these were like a really big snack when we were kids so I wouldn't take someone's word over it either I would just go try them myself but yeah so if you're having trouble finding them I do just have like a small tip for you if you don't know um, you can go on the Cheetos website or the Frito-Lay website I don't, I'm not sure I'll leave the link for the website down below so you can check it out but there is um, like a snack tracker you can like put in what you're looking for and put in your like zip code or whatever and it'll show you all the gas stations or stores that should have it um but honestly sometimes I mean I don't trust stuff like that all the time because like it'll say oh we have some and then they'll be like oh we sold out like an hour ago so yeah and I don't know what the deal is that they're just not stocking enough you know a lot of the stores are just getting like a box I don't know how many times a week or whatever but they're just getting a box and it's like usually a lot of the people that I've been seeing just buy like as soon as you see them like you buy the whole box or you like buy everything that you see um my gas station for some reason had like three boxes um and we just wiped them out but yeah maybe call ahead to your gas stations I don't know if that's kind of weird like do you guys have the Cheetos um but if you're like that desperate to find them and I would suggest calling, checking the list, and then calling to see, like, if they have them. The ones that, in my city, I don't know if it, like, differs from, like, city, like, which gas stations have them. But the gas stations that I've been seeing that have them, but they were just, like, sold out. Or, like, the gas stations that are on the list where I looked up um, were, like, Circle K's and Valeros. So, if you have Circle K's and Valeros, look there. There were some gas stations that um, just didn't even have, like any kind of display or anything for them so i was like i don't think they have them here there were some gas stations that i saw that just had like the triangles or just had like the nuts and stuff so it's like okay i know they were here so just like look up for stuff like that like if you're going if you're doing like hunting and you're not like going from gas station to gas station look for stuff like that i don't know i'm just trying to give my tips and tricks <laughs> on what you should look for if that's helpful i don't know but i hope so so yeah you guys that is all for this video hopefully you enjoyed it and if you did please give me a thumbs up and also remember to subscribe to my channel um you can do so down below there's the subscribe button or at the end of the video there's the little circle with my face on it you click that and you can subscribe to me and if you have any questions comments or anything like that you just want to talk and chill whatever you can always reach me on social media which i will leave at the beginning the end in the description box down below hit your girl up miss so nasty three yeses uh, thank you guys for watching i really appreciate it it's not the typical stuff that i do 
kind of but kind of not because I'm talking about Cheetos so yeah but hopefully you guys like this video and hopefully I also see you next time bye guys Alright, so I am taking the Take Me to Brazil palette from BH Cosmetics, and I'm taking this neon orange looking shade, looks Cheeto dusty to me, and I'm just putting that in my crease, and also blending it in a little bit higher, because this is going to be my main transition shade. Then I'm going to grab that red from the same palette, and I'm just going to focus that on the outer part of my eye. And just blend that in sorry you guys I thought I was focused but clearly I was not for the first half of this tutorial so sorry so I'm just blending that out and then I'm gonna take a clean brush and just blend those two shades together then I'm going to take this yellow shade from the Daisy Marquez palette this is flower and I'm just going to apply that over the orange shade just to add some extra dimension. And then I'm taking Karma from the Daisy Marquez palette and just placing that over top the red and the orange just to blend those shades together. Next, I'm going to cut my crease. I'm using the MAC Pro Concealer. And I'm just going to pack that all over my lid where I'm cutting my crease. And then I'm going to pat that down so it's a sticky consistency and not like super wet. Then I'm going to take this Super Shock Pressed Pigment in Glow Sticks from ColourPop. And I'm just going to apply that all over the crease and using a flat brush to kind of get the edges here. And then I'm going to take the glitter from the Flawless Cosmetics and just apply that all over my eyelid. I did use the NYX glitter glue and then went ahead with the yellow and then added more of the glitter on top. And then I'm just going to take that color Karma and just blend it in for the final look. And that's it, you guys. <laughs>